Hi everyone, Mark here from Inverts and Exotics. This is just a short video showcasing some of my animals after dark. I managed to catch a few of them out and about last night, so I thought I'd let you all have a look and see just what I've got. Enjoy! <laughs> Okay, here we go. These are my white spotted assassin bugs. Um, this one here that you're looking at is the only one that's molted into an adult at the minute and displays the white spots as you can just see there on the back. And these ones are still in the nymph stage, although it shouldn't be too long before they actually molt out to become adults. So moving up, we have my striped tail scorpion. This is a, a mean little monkey, is this thing. It's, uh, I remember when I first got this, unboxing this thing, it kept striking at the packaging and everything. It was just an absolute nightmare, but um, it's just a great little thing. You just have a look at him. doesn't really do that much wandering around, but over night time he's in his element. just wanders around everywhere. So I'm moving along now, and this is my Grammar Stola Pulcropies. This one was actually bought as a replacement because my sling actually developed disconnect syndrome and unfortunately died. You can just see the butt of it there. That's pretty much as much as you see of it for the time being. Uh, moving along now and this is my Asian forest scorpion, one of two that I've got. This one actually is a hell of a lot bigger than the other one. They're both from the exact same litter. This is the only one that's molted so far. The other one hasn't molted as of yet. But um, I think the other one is probably about the length of the tail of this one. It's so small compared to this one. And this one, like I say, this is molted once, but it's probably due to molt again soon. Moving down now, this is my Death's Head Cockroach Colony. Not that many roaches in here, to be honest. I say colony. It's, it's not really a colony. There's only about five or six in there. Um, you can see him just underneath that bit of cork bark there and just sort of loitering around the fake plants. Um, I'm hoping to do a communal enclosure with some millipedes and some sun beetles with uh, them cockroaches as well. And here we go to my salmon pink bird eater, Velasiodora paribana. Um, if you just have a look there, if you can see through, this, this enclosure needs a bit of a clean. It's just water sprayed everywhere. But um, you can see him there, having himself a little clean himself. Moving up now to my female Nandu Chromatus. Now she molted not long before Christmas, but maybe a week, week and a half before Christmas. And she's a lot bigger now than she was. And this enclosure here actually, um, she's done a lot of excavating in there in order to dig herself a tunnel that she spends most of the time in now. Moving up to this one, this is my... What's this on top here? Um, I think this is my Nandu Tripper Pie, actually. Um, yeah, it is. This is my Nandu Tripper Pie up here. Um, again, I think this one's in Primal, actually. Spends most of its time there. There's a little butt view, as you can see. That's pretty much all you're going to see of it as well. There's not really much else to see of it. Doesn't really come out and about that much. Um, and that's them. Let's see if you can see it through the front there. Mm, no. Not really much chance of seeing that. Anyway, let's move on. Here we have my corn snake. We've had him just over a year, I think now, something like that, a year and a bit. And below him, we have my boa constrictor. This is the biggest snake I've got by far. Uh, about six and a half foot long, weighs just over seven kilos. Just look at the iridescence on the side of him. You know, absolutely stunning colours. And uh, moving on from him now, we go across to a spider that I never ever see. This is my Orphanaceous Philippinus. The last time I saw it was when I actually put it into that enclosure there. Never ever see it really. You may see the odd leg every now and again, but that's about it. And that enclosure is the other Asian forest scorpion. Like I say, much, much smaller than the other one. And up here, as you can see, is my Postlotheria ornata. This one spends a lot of time just on its cork bark, but once the lights go out and it comes night time, it likes to come out and just have a little climb around the enclosure, as you can see. 
Here again is another spider that I don't get to see very often. That is a Flamingo Keyless Eberetti, which was gifted to me by Peter Webster. And here we have an Orchid Mantis, which I got from Mitch at Unseen Universe. And if you're into mantids or anything like that, then I recommend going to his website, which is thepraidmantis.co.uk, and checking out everything he's got on there. Um, in this little enclosure, you can see my little GBB sling. Um, next to that was my score, uh, my scorpion, my centipede. Um, but you don't really see him that much at the minute. And there is my tailless whip scorpion, which was a uh, freebie from the spider shop. They're just awesome little things. Then um, doesn't really do much, but it's awesome to look at nonetheless. In here is a spider I've not seen for about four weeks now. You can see just in the top of that corner back there to the right, all sealed up. But that's my Venezuelan sun tiger. And um, at the back there on top, we have the Brachypelma albopelosum. Um, he's just on the right hand side there. Doesn't bother with his hide anymore. Dug himself a hole, uh, which he molted in and he stayed in ever since. Underneath, in that bottle top that you can see on the far side of the enclosure, is my OBT. Um, it's not just the bottle top, it's actually part of the bottle as well, which I put underneath. But he's been disappeared in there for about four weeks as well. Um, in this enclosure here are my newest inverts, these are my thorny stick insects, um, I did a video on them not long ago so if you want to see about them you can go and check that out on my channel, but uh, here they are just hanging around, just looking awesome, they don't really do much but they're great fun you know, I mean kids like getting them out and stuff like that, and my 8 year old doesn't mind actually holding these there's other things that she doesn't want to hold, doesn't want to go anywhere near, but these she actually quite likes. And um, like I say, there's a video on these on my channel already. Moving back across here now, this is the enclosure for my Davos Pentalorus, which is in pre mold at the minute. Um, he's hiding behind that foliage at the back there, not bothering with his hide and heading back down to the cockroaches again. So I think that'll do for this video. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, please give it a like and uh, leave a comment down below. And remember, if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.